What's up everybody? Today is Thursday and do you know that every Thursday I have this online show called Watch and Say Thursday kasi nga every Thursday siya. And it's 8 p.m. So yun tong papapanood, it's on CBN Asia and the 700 Club Asia and Jamie Speaks Facebook pages. And right now, I just want to share sa inyo yung very timely topic namin and it's called self sabotage and I was thinking of discussing it also to all of you. Papakita ko na rin on how I prepare for my online shows. So, it's 6.57. Ganyan tayo, di ba? Um, magaling tayo sa mga last minute. Ayan, pero huwag niyo ako gagayahin. Ay, kasi nagpakain pa ako ng bata, nagigis pa ako ng oo. Oh, oh. So, this is my on-the-go makeup. Yes, I'll just apply very light makeup for today's online hosting. So, basically, since ayaw naman natin super loaded yung face natin online, ang una kong gagawin, ah, concealer. Ayan. Ilagay ko yung phone ko sa gilid para makita ko ang mga kaganapan. There. So, typical light makeup for me. Ayan. Inalagyan ko lang yung mga dark areas. Okay. And then, what I do is, this is Caroline. Caroline. Ayan. Para lang mag-intact nilagay natin concealer at magbawasin yung mga lines lines sa pwedeng mabuo ng ano, ng ano, ng ng ang baba din si okay, after na ating concealer is contour mom, she, asa yung contour mo? for our contour it's basically just here well, hindi mo naman kailangan ilagay lahat so Ano na tayo ah! And then, the power of light. So, this is my typical makeup. Pag super nagmamadali ka na, diba? Tapos, talagang yung show mo ay mamaya na, no? And then, I use this blush palette from Everbelena. If mo papansin mo, pag super, ano, since dark yung ambience ko, medyo dark lang siya. Kailangan natin, konti lang naman. Konting kapal lang. And then, for my eyebrows, um, this is what I use. It's from EB. It's the Studio Finish Brow Pen. Yan. Kasi since makapal na yung kilay natin, ang gagawin ko na lang is, yan, tatapalan na lang natin yung mga gaps. And then, and then, eto ang powerful <laughs> eyeliner. Ako kasi hindi ako magaling maglagay ng close eyelashes. I just want it to be cute, cute lang, sweet, sweet lang. And I'm, what I'm using, my eyeliner duo stamp is from Blight. Yeah, it's Blight and it has two stamps. And I, this is what I really love about this. They got this stamp. And then, of course, yung pang mismo. Kita niyo yung difference pag walang eyeliner sa meron, di ba? And I really love this eyeliner. Super duper talaga. Kudo sa mga iba ibang paraan paano kayo maglagay ng inyong eyeliner. Ako ganito ako paglagay ng eyeliner. Yes. And it depends on you like how you want to put a wing on it or Korean style. Make sure natin na pantay. There you go! O, diba? Super simple lang ba? Since gusto kong mag-red headband for today, kasi ang hindi namin is kind of Independence Day. So, what I'm going to do is stable natin ang ating kabuhokan. And then... Oh! 
Then, to match the, the headband, gagamitin ko tong Spotlight. It's Superstar Creamy Lips World Class Diva. Ito yung ginagamit ko for my red lipstick. And as you can see, super dali lang niyang i-apply kasi yung lips ko is dry. It's creamy and very uh, soothing siya and bagay siya sa mga dry lips katulad ko. This is the Spotlight Cosmetics. Ayan. So, ganito lang ako nag-prepare for my online shows. And usually, ang ginagawa ko, forma na talaga lahat ng mga online things ko kasi para hindi na ako nagsiset up yung parang paulit-ulit na set up or yeah, ayusin mo pa yung mga gamit mo and all that. So, since Independence Day yung team namin, kulay daw ng Philippine flag. And so, I'm wearing white. Then, may touch lang ng red. Ngayon. Ah! Gusto mo yun. Okay. So, I'm now ready for my show. And, ayun. Lilikpik ko lang mga bag. Tada! I'm so ready. So, ngayon, ang gagawin ko naman is I'm gonna prepare for the lines. Actually, I have a answers na alam nga. Gusto ko lang i-share that every Thursday talaga, pinaghahandaan talaga namin yung mga answers namin. Kasi yung Watch You Say Thursday is a show na we answer your whys. We answer all your questions about life or certain issues. And right now, we'll be talking about self-sabotage. And alam mo, every Thursday, talagang nasa-challenge ako na sumagot ng mga questions from you. Inaaral ko talaga and I ask for different people. I'm so excited to talk about this issue tonight. So right now, I'm just waiting sa waiting room. Wow, syempre waiting sa waiting room. Okay. I'm just waiting for the, ayan, yung pre-live show namin. And this is how it goes. So guys, I just bought this strip lights on Shopee. Ang unang dating ito was around 600 pesos. Bili ko yung sa upper, yung medyo greenish. Pero ngayon, mababa na sila. Nag-120 na lang siya. So yung bili ko dito sa strip lights na to ay 120 hanggang baba na yan. So it's really helpful for online shows, online magkukum or mga apps na yan. And then, ito yung setup ko. Um, I put the ring light sa taas para maganda yung baksak sa face. With me, ito may speaker din akong gamit para malinaw yung pagtrinig ko dun sa kausap ko online. And then, I have with me this mic that I bought again on Shopee. It's 100, aparang 800 pesos. Ayan. Musta so, nagsasak na sila, guys. Musta. Sweet lang, ha? And that we pray for salvation, oh God. Yes. More salvation for people, Panginoon, that they will be able to know you as their Lord and Savior, oh God. So hi guys, kakatapos ko lang with What You Say Thursday. It's 9 o'clock. Actually, it's 9.15 na. And medyo nagpahinga lang ako before I do this take. And yes, we talked about self sabotage. What about this topic? You know, grabe, I was really, alam ko, with some of you, di ba, parang bago sa, pandinig natin yung, yung salitang self-sabotage. What does it mean when we say self-sabotage? Grabe pala yung word na self-sabotage. Ito yung feeling na, though, parang you want to break through, you want to be successful, pero para kang nakakulong with that fear of failing, ang dami mong naririnig ng mga negative voices sa isip mo, sa puso mo. Parang instead of coming out to that voices or fighting those voices, naniniwala ka. Naniniwala ka dun sa mga negative voices na yun. Ito yung self-sabotage, ito yung my goals ka, let's say magpapapayat ka, or you, you want to start a business, or you really want to make things right. Pero parang hindi ka makalabas dun, hindi ka makabreakthrough. Diba? Hindi mo magawa. And and sabi din sa healthline.com, self-sabotage refers to behaviors or thought patterns that hold you back. Yan, nag-hold back daw sa'yo and prevent you from doing what you want to do or what you need to do. So, hinihila ka niya. Self-sabotage is believing on those lies na hinihila ka niya pababa. Alright? And also, I love this word that it says there. Sa, sabi naman sa mindtool.com, isa daw sa mga signs ng self-sabotage is procrastination. Isa ito sa mga mangyana habits. Ito yung mga bukas na lang, mamaya na lang. And hanggang sa hindi mo na nagagawa yung bagay na yun. Also, isa sa mga signs din daw is yung negative self-talk. Na, for example, someone assigned you, tapos 
parang wait lang kaya ko ba to hindi ko to kaya yung mga ganyan or someone's believing in you but you yourself you're not believing in yourself you know pinagkatiwalaan ka ng parents mo ng isang malaking business but you're afraid of just doing it and gusto mo na lang dun ka na lang sa box na yun and I want you to know that that is self sabotage. Yan yung mga pinag-usapan namin kanina sa What You Say Thursday. And if you are, you know, nakaka-relate ka, nakaka-relate ka sa term na to, just watch this video. So, right now, I want to answer yung questions from my What You Sayers or mga What You Say friends ko. And gusto ko ilagay dito sa YouTube channel nito yung mga answers ko dun sa questions nila. Let's say, for example, itong question ni Sheila. Sabi niya, I am working for two years and hoping for a promotion. Pero, sa tuwing nabibigyan ako ng major tasks sa work, there's this voice inside me na nagsasabing, I can't do this. Or, I might fail. Lalo na first time ko itong gagawin. Dahil dito, affected ang performance ko. Yan, di ba? Nakaka-relate ka ba? Di ba? And, what can I do? Ang question na, what can I do to fight the negative voice and negative self-talk so I can be more confident in reaching my goal? Nakaka-relate ka ba? So, I just want to answer this question. And, I want to remind you sa sinabi ni John Maxwell that be careful about what occupies your mind because it will greatly determine what you'll become in the future or what will become tomorrow. Kaya nga, sa mga YouTube viewers and YouTube friends ko, maganda maingat talaga tayo sa mga bagay na pinapapasok natin sa isip natin kasi nga, it will determine our future our goals and even our tomorrow. So, paano? How can we effectively do this? Uh, I read a blog that says, meron daw SOS method. Yung SOS method nito, ito yung stop, observe, and then shift. Again, stop, observe, and then shift. That every time there are things that entering into your mind na hindi maganda or it's negative. So, first is stop. Mentally tell yourself to stop. To give you the opportunity to address the thought and interrupt the cycle. Kasi, even sa atin, di ba? Pag pumasok sa isip natin, imumunin-munin na natin yun, imimeditate na natin yun, hanggang ma-absorb na rin ang puso natin at gawin na natin. So, when every time you think of such things, you stop the cycle. For example, may pumasok sa isip ko ngayon, ay walang manonood sa vlog na to. I wanna stop that cycle. Wait, hindi totoo yun. Hindi totoo na walang manonood sa vlog na to. Right? And then, second is observe. And then, as you stop that cycle or that thought that came into your mind, you observe, wait, yung naisip ko ba na yun will benefit me? Yung inisip ko ba na yun will help my future? Diba? So, kesa i-absorb mo lahat. Observe. Think na, okay, this won't help me, then I won't get it and I won't absorb everything. And the last S is shift. Stop observe and then shift. So, after you observe that thought, you shift. Ba? Parang, I'm facing you right now. I'm gonna shift. So, it's like that. Parang, naisip ko tong bagay na to. Wait lang. Mali. So, I'm gonna shift that thought into something positive. Ang kalaban ng negative, positive. Diba? Shift your focus to positive coping techniques by replacing those negative thoughts into positive thoughts. Let's say, for example, thinking about nice things. Pumasok sa isip ko kanina na walang manonood, then I'm thinking about people watching over this vlog and they are being blessed. So, yun daw yung ishift mo sa isip mo. And then, start declaring or bombarding your mind with good things, with beautiful things, with excellent things. For example, may nabigyan ka ng task. Naisip mo na hindi ko kaya to. Then, shift it to wait. Kaya ko to. Diba? Naisip mong mag-feel ka na naman in doing this task. Then, shift it and say, wait, I am not a failure. I'm proud of myself and I can do this. Wait lang, na-heartbroken na naman ako. Ma magkakaroon pa ba ako ng God-written love story? Shift it and say, wait, I am having faith that God will give me the best love story ever. So, see that? You stop, you observe, and then you shift. And I remember this Bible verse that says, Philippians 4, 8, Finally, brothers and sisters, sabi ni Paul, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable and is excellent and praiseworthy, think about such things. So, ito lang dapat, guys. Ito lang dapat yung nilalagay natin sa isip natin. Because, again, anything that is negative, it comes from the enemy. But anything that is praiseworthy, anything that is true, noble, lovely, admirable, excellent, it comes from God. Dalawa lang yan eh. 
every time you think of something, think of it pag negative. It comes from the enemy. I won't believe it. But if you think such things as positive, great things, wait, this it, it comes from God. At sino yung paniniwalaan mo doon? Yung negative thoughts from the enemy or yung positive or great things from God? It's your choice. Second question, I want to make my parents proud. Kaso ilang beses na akong may nagagawang mali sa family business namin. So shout out sa mga businessmen dyan, diba? And feeling ko kasalanan ko kaya nalugi ang aming negosyo. They wanted to try out a new business pero hesitant ako mag-take risk. Oh, diba? Dahil nangingibabaw pa rin sa akin yung takot na magkamali at mag-fail. So ang question niya is, paano ba ako makaka-move on after making mistakes. O, oh, diba? Relate ka din ba? Relate din ako. Okay, my answer is this. I want you to know that people quit on the first sign of failure, that they don't see that failing can be a lesson to know how they can get better the next time. And I want to encourage every one of you that please do not be too hard on yourself. Baka masyado mo nang pinupukpok yung sarili mo. Diba? Masyado mong sinasaktan yung sarili mo. At masyado mong pinapressure yung sarili mo. I believe that every rich person made mistakes. Even great people in the Bible, even great successful people in this world, they made mistakes. And they had their own unique story of failure. Lahat tayo. Meron tayong kanya-kanya, meron tayong sariling mga failure story. Iba-iba lang. But it's just that they chose to learn and move forward. There's a big difference on that, on how you take failure in life. Either you step back and malugbok ka na forever, or you step forward and take it as a challenge. And I asked a businessman, actually, tinanong ko siya, anong take mo dito? Sabi niya, after failing, I would still try because I am not starting from zero. I am starting with the knowledge I had for my past failure. And boom, sabi ko, that makes sense. And just two days ago, I saw a post. It, it, ilalabas ko na lang din. Android was once rejected by Nokia. Google was once rejected by Yahoo. Blockbuster rejected Netflix. Pero nasa na itong malalaking companies ngayon? They are now changing the world. And do you know that they all started with a rejection, with a mistake. Once in their life, na-reject din sila ng mga malalaking companies, pero hindi sila tumigil from that one failure or from that one rejection. nag sila, lumaban sila, at ngayon nasa sila ngayon, di ba? So the lesson is, learn to take risk, number one. Second is accept the change. That meron talagang failures, may victories, may failures, may victories, may failures. And it's it's part of life. And it is just a season. Dadaan lang yung failures na yun. Dadaan lang yung mistakes na yun. But it won't define you. It won't define your whole life. And number three, yung lesson na pwede natin makuha dito is make those failures your stepping stone. Your bridge to success. And I remember a verse. It says in Proverbs 24, 16, For the righteous fall seven times and rises again. But the wicked stumble in times of calamity. Grabe, diba? There's a big difference between a righteous man and a wicked man. Ang isang righteous man daw, isang matapang na tao, isang taong nananalig sa Diyos, kahit dumaan siya sa seven times of failures, ika-eight time, babangon yan. But a wicked, ay nako, ang gagawin lang niya sa failure, malulugbok siya, aayaw na siya sa buhay, magkukulong na lang siya sa kwarto, at wala na siyang gagawin. So remember, this, there's a big difference. And I encourage every one of you to stand. Failing for seven times, rise up at eight. Ako sobra, sobra talaga akong nakaka-relate sa word na self-sabotage. And we have this capability to just rise up. Umangat tayo dun sa, sa status na kung saan tayo nakakulong ngayon. And that is self-sabotage. And last question. So here's another question from Annie. Sabi niya, habit ko na maging good starter sa tuwing may goal ako. Pero madalas din ako mag-procrastinate. Kaya lagi akong walang natatapos. Ang tendency ay jump to a new goal pero same result. Pa ang question niya is, paano ko ba ma-overcome ang procrastination at maging consistent in achieving a goal? Ay, grabe. Alam mo, to be honest, sobra ako nakakarelate sa procrastination. Kasi, ay na no, talagang nung high school ako, nung college ako, madalas ako na magpapasa ako ng project. Kunyari, deadline na two days from now, gagawin ko lang siya. Two days from now, parang gagawin ko lang siya ngayon. Ganun ka tindi talaga. And parang, feeling ko dati, mas gumagana yung isip ko pag last minute. Pero it's a wrong habit pala. And I learned from it. Lalo sobrang lang ako talagang natutunan ko na lang siya along the way. And my answer to that question is I learned this from the statement of 
Apostle Paul na sinasabi niya doon sa verse na yun that you beat your body and you make it a slave. Hindi yung ikaw yung susunod sa katawan mo. For example, yung, yung katawan mo na feel niyang maging tamad for the whole day, then ikaw naman susunod ka sa katawan mo. No. Beating your body and making it a slave means that kahit na feel to ng katawan mo, but you have to teach your body, di ba, sa kung anong dapat ginagawa niya. Hindi mo hinahayaan na sumunod ka doon sa katawan mo. And there are six things daw guaranteed to help you stop procrastinating. And I also just saw this on an article and it says there, number one, action over feelings. That even though you don't feel like doing it for that day, for that moment, the more daw na tinatamad ka, the more, ako ah, ito yung knowledge ko dito, the more na tinatamad ka, the more na gawin mo. Number one, action over feelings. And then second, fear is not from God. I want you to know that if I am feeling fearful, I can remember that God didn't give us the spirit of timidity or fear, but God gave us the spirit of power, of spirit of love, spirit of self-discipline. Makikita yan in 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7, diba? And yun yung gusto natin stress ngayon. Wait lang, you are created for productivity. You are created to subdue, to to conquer, to multiply, to develop and just do self-discipline. Yun daw yung innate yun daw yung created sa atin. And then number three, though the principle of learning as I go. Learn as I go. Diba? That if I'm feeling like I'm not ready for this day or for this season, I need to remember that I'll probably never be ready anyway. Totoo yan eh. You know, I remember three years ago, my mom asked me, ready ka na ba magpakasal? And then sabi ko, wait lang, oh nga, no, ready na ba, nga, nga ba talaga ako magpakasal? Sabi ko lang sa mom ko, Ma, parang di, wala namang nagiging ready 100% in different seasons of life, in everything that's happening around us. It's just that how you respond to it. It's just that how you trust the process. Diba? Na parang, totoo yun eh, na parang, you will never be completely ready in all seasons. You just have to trust God along the way. And ang ganda nung statement na yun, that we have to learn as we go. You have to believe that along this process, along this season, as I enter into this new season, I'm gonna learn something new. And I have to embrace it, diba? And number four is that, how to defeat procrastination, you have to know that life is short. Ang iksi ng buhay para magpending ka or para marelax ka dyan, mom, she, diba? Parang, life is too short to relax or to not do anything. And yeah, we don't have all the time. Nabilis ang buhay, lalo na ngayon, COVID-19 is anywhere, everywhere. Diba? Parang life is here today, gone tomorrow. And we have to value life. We have to value seasons. We have to value time. And with this, may iwasan natin yung procrastination. Para bang, kesa sabihin mo na bukas na lang, wait lang, paano pag wala na akong bukas? Wait lang, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna spend time with my family right now kasi baka bukas wala na akong oras. You have to know and you have to put it in your heart and mind that life is too short to procrastinate. And then number five is give yourself a deadline. When you give yourself deadlines, you start to do calendar, set goals, dapat ganito sa araw na to, ito na yung mga nagawa ko, then I think it will help you. It will help you not procrastinate. And if I want to get something done, the best way to do is to give it a measurable deadline. But of course, do not be too hard on yourself nga, diba? Make sure then na yung mga deadlines na pinaplot mo or binibigay mo sa sarili mo is attainable or kaya mo. Because balance is everything. For me, take a small steps every day para set goals that you can attain. And with that, I think if we, we do these steps, I think we can finish the race with flying colors and wala tayong regrets sa buhay. There you have it. It says in Philippians 1.6 that for I am confident of this very thing that he who began a good work in you will come complete it until the day of Christ Jesus. Again, remember that it is the Lord who will carry us along through and through in this journey, in this season. All we need to do is just trust in Him, cling on Him, love Him, and serve Him. Seek Him first. And I tell you, we will be free from self sabotage. There you have it guys. I hope that the bless ka sa vlog na ito. If you have comments, suggestions, sige lang, comment it down and uh, malay mo yun na yung next kong vlog na gagawin. And uh, don't forget to enjoy, honor, and maximize your season. Please do, no? Makalaya na tayong lahat sa self sabotage. Do not be too hard on yourself and enjoy every season of life with God and for God. Bye guys!